What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with another um, slightly new to the channel brand for you guys, at least in terms of um, straight up collection releases. I have Kathleen and Company's Fall 2020 collection to show you guys, which features eight polishes in varying finishes. So let's dive right into what she's got. First up is Foliage. This is a deep berry red jelly with color shifting flakies. So um, I just want to say as a blanket statement that the bottles that I am using are um, her medium size bottles. So the brush may look a little bit different. And of course your bottles will look a little bit different from the ones that you guys get. Um, and you won't have the stickers on the back of the bottle as um, that's how the blogger packs were sent out. So I just wanted to um, definitely make that clear as you guys are seeing the uh, bottle shots. So foliage has a um, very jelly-like formula to it. Um, true to a jelly formula, it's definitely going to deepen out whether you wear it between two or three coats. And I think between two or three coats, um, it'll definitely build up very nicely. I personally found that three medium coats flattered this one very well. It helped to plump it out and get just the maximum amount of flakes. So I think at least on my monitors that um, the color is coming off pretty color accurate to what I'm seeing in person. Definitely that nice deep berry reddish type of shade and um, really nice flaky action happening with it too. And next we have Falling Leaves. This is a purple leaning mauve with color shifting flakes. And this one is um, also very similar to foliage and how it applies. So again, between two and three coats, depending on the length of your free edge and um, how you apply and all that good stuff. So I personally found that three coats on this one plumped it out very nicely and um, really lovely flaky action happening on this one too. Now all the flakies in this collection, in my opinion, dry down quite a bit on the flat side. So I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat just to seal everything up and get it to really pop against their own uh, respective color rolls. So this um, base color is very interesting to me. I feel like there's definitely a strong mauve undertone with it, um, but I do think there is this interesting um, pinky purple, in my opinion, uh, type of lean with it. So um, I think it's very flattering and I think it's gonna look fantastic on just about any skin tone. And next we have Leaf Pile. This is a mauve curly with color shifting flakes. So again, very identical formula to um, falling leaves and foliage. Um, this one has just the slightest bit of a lighter feel when you are applying with it. So I think for this one, three coats is gonna be just fine. And the base color definitely feels like a um, super neutral type of shade. At least on myself, I feel like it had this almost nude-like effect. So um, more of a uh, somewhat neutral feel, um, depending on your skin tone and those flakes popped very well um, against that base color too. So I almost wanna classify this as one of those um, amped up type of neutrals. And on the third coat here, you can really see that base color starting to come out um, very well and um, the amount of flakes in the polish too. So I do give my bottles a good shake before applying. And as usual, I had no issues with getting quite a bit of them out of the bottle. Now again, on the full hand stretch, you are seeing a glossy top coat applied, um, which I would definitely recommend, especially for the flakies in this collection. And next we have Autumnal. This is a purple hollow with or orange shimmer. This was um, one of my favorites in the set. I really liked this color. It is very glowy in person. It's got um, quite a bit of rainbows packed in here with um, the holographic effect. It's got this super smooth, creamy-like formula. Now in indoor lighting and um, somewhat shaded lighting, you'll definitely see this lovely orangey glow with it. And um, in the sunlight, of course, you're gonna get that nice uh, sparkling effect with uh, all that rainbow goodness um, with the holographic effect. So here on the second coat, you can see it plumped up very nicely. It's got this very creamy like feel to the brush strokes and I really couldn't see a need to do a third coat. So I think two coats is gonna be just fine for most. And again, I finished off with a glossy top coat. And next we have Moonlit. This is a dusky gray with purple highlights. Um, another one of my favorites in the set, this one is just so glowy and so stunning in person. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it's got a super smooth, creamy-like formula as you apply, it self-levels very well. And as you'll see on the second coat here in a moment, it just glows like crazy. Um, it's almost so glowy that 
I feel like the uh, the overall look of it just looks like a glowy purple. But um, in shaded lighting, you can definitely see that there's that nice dusky gray type of base in the backdrop. So really nice. And um, you can see as I build it up that it's just popping so well. I'm normally pretty picky with um, these uh, grayed type of tones, but this is really lovely and the shimmer is very strong in person. And next we have Harvest Glow. This is a swampy green hollow with orange to green shimmer. Yet another one of my favorites in the set. This is um, very pretty. It reminds me of Autumnal, which was that purple hollow. Um, this one's just uh, green with somewhat larger particle um, shimmer in it, in my opinion, at least just from what I'm seeing here. Um, but it builds up very easily to opacity. This one has almost like a jelly-like feel, but it's very smooth on the brush strokes. And um, in just about any lighting, you'll definitely see that, that shimmer takes on this really lovely type of orangey type of almost copperish red type of appearance and it angles it's got this lovely luminous green shift to it of course there's also that lovely holographic effect that you'll see in the sunlight and in very bright lights and um, it does dry down on the flat side once again so i'm going to suggest uh, in lieu of repeating myself a good glossy top coat and next we have Golden Twilight. This is a gray hollow with orange to green color shifting shimmer and matching multi-chrome shimmer. Another one of my favorites. I really uh, liked her hollows in this set. They're very nice. Now this is um, straight up holographic goodness. So it does apply with this somewhat metallic like feel on the brush strokes, but it builds up very quickly to opacity. I think between two and three coats, everyone's gonna be just fine. Um, I think it's really, really shifty in person. Um, in indoor lights, you'll see this lovely type of orangey copperish effect. And this one has a very strong green shift to it. So um, I think I caught some of that on my macro shots, but um, I'll be sure to show you guys that at the recap of the video. Um, just really lovely multi-chrome, but holographic goodness too. And last but not least, we have Harvest Moonlight. This is a dark purple magnetic with holographic and two different magnetic pigments shifting from blue to purple and orange. So um, over the last few months, I've definitely favored um, using the DRK Nails Magic Magnetic Top Coat so that you guys um, watching my videos can see what these magnetic polishes look like without being uh, magnetized and with. So building it up without using a magnet, um, I would suggest two coats with it. It's got a very smooth, um, somewhat metallic-like feeling um, on the brush strokes, and it builds up very quickly to opacity. So honestly, I feel like without even using the magnet, this is a really pretty color. It's complex. There's quite a bit of this plummy-like backdrop and this lovely shimmer. But when you go in with your magnet, like you're seeing here, I really enjoyed the color roll that you'll see with that. So the magnetic particles have quite a bit of movement with them and you'll get this really lovely copperish background. It's like this burning ember kind of thing. It's very pretty. And the uh, magnetic particles take on this lovely silvery um, to blue like effect. Very lovely um, and just really strong to magnetize. Now each of the polishes in her fall collection will be $11.50 each and they will release October 16th at 7 p.m. Central Time. I will link you guys below to her shop if you wanna check that out and her Facebook fan group if you wanna get in there, see additional swatches, um, sneak peeks, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.